JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and this is a common data interchange format that we see across the web and for locally hosted applications. Let's go ahead and use the tab key to open up the OpCreate dialog and add a text stat. Let's begin by looking at what the format of JSON uh, looks like. So I'm going to head to the common page. I'm going to change this to be uh, JSON as the format, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make this text stat viewer active. And I'm going to start by adding a set of curly braces. JSON is uh, typically encapsulated inside a set of curly braces, and it's made up a set of, of a set of keys and values. So for example, our key might be apples. Our keys are usually uh, surrounded by double quotation marks. And then uh, our value comes after that. I'm going to add a comma to add another key, and I'll add oranges, a colon, and 10. This is what a typical JSON object looks like. This is a really simple example of one. Let's go ahead and connect this to our JSON stat so we can see what that might look like. One of those powerful things we can do with our JSON uh, dat right away is to go ahead and take this from being formatted as indented and instead convert it into a table. Now, if we want to go one step further, we could transpose this table and we could even then convert this into a chop. So we have a fast way to think about how we can move something from being a web formatted uh, set of data into something that is pretty common to use inside a touch designer, either tables or chops. In fact, if we were to add another key here, maybe we have grapes. And uh, let's say that we've got 20 of those. Uh, we can see that we add another line to our table and then we also add that right to our chop right away. Now, this is great as a simple example, but let's take a look at something slightly more complicated. I already have a DAT waiting for us over here that has a slightly more complex set of data inside of it. So let's see how we might parse out some information uh, from this uh, set of JSON. So here we can see that we have this uh, object called store, and inside of store we have this object called book. Book is uh, then has a set of square braces. A set of square braces typically indicates that we're dealing with an array or a list. Uh, and this list has a set of three different objects inside of it. So we can kind of think that uh, by looking at this, that we have a bookstore, right? We've got a store that has a set of books in it. And the books that we have have these different uh, characteristics that describe them. So let's go ahead and connect this to a JSON dat to see what we might pull out from this. So we could, we could start to drill down into this by working with our JSON path filter. So let's go ahead and add dot store here. That's going to move us here inside of the store object. So now we're looking just at the contents of store. And if we were to add, say, dot book, this would take us one step further. And now we're seeing uh, just these books. Now this book is an array. So if we add a set of square braces, we could then start to go through these books one at a time. So we could look at, for example, book zero uh, or book one here. Let's go back to book zero for a second. Now we could drill down even further by using, again, uh, a dot here and specifying the key that we want to access. So maybe I want to look at the title of this book. And we are at sayings of the century. Now, if we change the index that we're looking at here, we're going to move through the different items in this array, uh, which is great. Now, we can still use a few other tricks that we have up our sleeve. So maybe we don't want to see this just kind of inside of uh, this list here. So we're going to change our filter results, our output to be just filter result for first result. And this gives us just a first result from uh, this key, which is great because we might want to use this to display, say, text. Now, another thing that we could do is we could uh, select maybe we want to see the contents of this as a table. And rather than seeing just this result, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this dot uh, title item. And instead, I want to see actually uh, the representation of this block of data as a table. This is great. This is a really powerful way for me to be able to see the contents of this JSON as a table right away, which is a format that we frequently use inside of Touch Designer. Now, maybe you want to go one step further. And rather than looking at just a single book, I want to look at all the books. And in fact, that's exactly what I can do. So by going back to book and outputting this as a table, we now have uh, our keys here as our headers. And then we can see the uh, values for those keys as represented here in the rows. 
We could also, if we wanted to, we could transpose the contents here if we want to see this arranged differently, or we could switch it back. JSON is one of the most powerful formats of uh, data representation that we're currently using for exchanging uh, data across the web. And this is a great way for us to be able to format that in a way that we can use quickly here inside of Touch Designer. 